Hey, Random Ryan here, coming to you with a quick horticultural tip. Uh, today I'm talking about calcium deficiency uh, and how you can tell if you do or do not have it. Now, I'm growing peppers here. This is part of my uh, experiment uh, with aeration versus non-aeration. I did a video on that. If you haven't seen it, it's going to be in the link below. Uh, but specifically, I noticed on these plants, uh, towards the outer edges uh, of the grow tent where the, where the leaves are growing, the leaves looked a little crinkly. And typically, you would think that's a calcium deficiency. Um, especially in pepper plants. Now, I'm here to tell you that it may not be because uh, I, if you look towards the, the center of the light where the leaves are, right under the middle of the light, or at least near the middle of the light, you can see the leaves look pretty good. Uh, they don't have that crinkly appearance to them. But if you pan outwards and you look as we go further away from the light, as the light intensity gets less, you can see you start getting more and more crinkly looking leaves. Uh, so what I did is I took my hydrofarm power meter and I tested that right towards the outer edges uh, where it was getting the worst looking leaves and it was around 150 micromole, give or take. Uh, and then I tested towards the middle of the growth, closer to the middle of the light or at least closer to the light. And I found that where it was just starting to look a little bit crinkly, it was just under 500 micromoles of light. So if you're growing pepper plants hydroponically and you know what you're putting in that solution, it's probably a good idea to maybe raise or lower your light depending on how you have your growth set up. But you may need more light, basically is what I'm saying. If you, need, if, if you don't have enough light, that's what's going to happen uh, on these pepper plants anyways. These are the Asian uh, hybrid, uh, hot, Asian hot hybrid, I think is what they're called. Um, this is basically a cayenne pepper or a chili pepper. Uh, so anyways, you can even see that uh, down in the lower growth, one of the smaller plants under the canopy, even though it's centered towards that light, it's the same deal. The leaves look crinkly uh, because it's not getting enough light when it's below the canopy of the rest of the plants. Um, so now if you're growing in soil, that's a whole different ball game. Um, typically if it's outside where it's getting plenty of sunlight and it's in a pot or in the ground or whatever, you see those crinkly leaves, that's probably a calcium deficiency. If you're growing indoors though, it may be a lighting problem, may not have enough light. Um, so 500 micromoles up to maybe around 1,000 uh, is probably a good range to uh, to look at it as. Now, if you don't have a light meter, obviously a lot of people out there who are growers may not have a light meter, just, you know, the hobbyist. Um, you can pick one up. Hydrofarm power meters are around $130, $140. I, last time I checked, they're hard to come by because they don't make a lot of them, I guess. Um, but if you see one online and it's around that $140 range, pick, pick it up if it's in stock because it may not be in stock at some other point if you really want one. Um, they're a very useful tools. So uh, this is not an advertisement for hydrofarm power meters in any kind of way. I have one and because I have one I've been able to uh, test things and understand things better. So if you're a hobbyist and you want to understand what's wrong with your plants it may be a lighting issue. It may not have enough light or it might be too much light. So get yourself a power meter and check it out. If you don't want to have one just pay attention to your plants and raise or lower your lighting accordingly. Uh, so that's it for this video. Just a quick tip on uh, some horticultural stuff uh, that I noticed when I was doing this grow. So I thought I would share the information with you out there. So that's it. Thanks for watching.